Elsword 2022 High Savers GH here. Today we're gonna do an Elsword gameplay from the beginning to show you guys what it's like playing the game from the start. Elsword is an instance based action anime MMORPG. And with that said, let's do this. Let's go play the game, okay guys? Here's the character creation, and here are the different characters or classes that you can choose from. Here's Noah, there goes Elseworld, Asia, Hanyang, <laughs> man they're talking. Here's Rena, Raven, Eve, Chong, Ara, Alexis, Ad, what? Okay, Luciel, Rose, Ayn, and Labby. Okay, we're gonna play as Ad, kinda interested in this character. Next, enter my character name. Confirm. Story time. How do we skip this? Stop viewing. Get near the barrier. Okay, we're in the game, guys. We can move with the arrow keys. We can jump and then crouch. Oh, no, we can't crouch. Left to right, then jump. Okay. Oh, what's this? I'm kind of a levitating. Look at this. Levitating. When I double jump. Okay, anyway, but we can't move when we're levitating to dash. Forward, forward. There he goes. Jump. Now I need to go near the barrier. Clear. Now what? Attack. Z and X. Okay, we got that. I think we need to dodge that. What happened? A and C to attack. Why is it A and C? Okay, anyway. That's A. And this is C. Let's go. Yeah. Clear. Let's go. Jump. Okay, boss fight time. Skip this. Is that Dr. Wily? Let's go. Of course, there's a robot. Ooh, got me. He's a skill. Man, control for awakening. Okay, that's control. What? Okay, so I get buffed. Oh, one shot. And the boss is dead. Escape this. Clear again. Now what? Oh, I need to proceed? Nope. Okay, there it goes. The confirmation that we're moving to another place. Close this. We're in Ruben Village. Do you want to enable faster gameplay? Okay. Skip event scenes. Nice. I like that. Now what? What do we need to do? Of course, dungeon. This is an instance-based MMORPG. They want us to go to the Tree of L. Okay, but first, how about this roam around in Ruben Village? Look at this. This is what I like about L Sword. They give you a little bit of exploration. A little bit. Because Grand Chase, the one that this game replaced, doesn't have any form of exploration. They give you a UI and then you select a dungeon there. It's fine, but I kind of want this. You can hang out with other players. Okay, anyway, let's go to the dungeon. I'm pressing Q, bruh. Okay, let's just click it. Clicking it. Q for the dungeon. We're queuing. What? Okay, starting dungeon. Let's go. <laughs> Oh my god, I accidentally used our skill. We don't need to use a skill, let's just basic attack them. What's the difference between Z and X? X is a kick. Z is this, some kind of a close range blast. Let's go. What's happening here? Use the skill. <laughs> oh, we got a new skill. S. Let's try it out. That's it. Oh, it's some kind of a prism. Let's go. Destroy this. I know I need to destroy this. Let's go. Let's go. I destroyed it already. There goes Bantus. Let's go. C. And then S. For the prism attack. Let's go, bro. Why is my A skill blacked out? I can't use it. I think I need some kind of uh, maybe a bar on top. Okay, anyway, let's take this. There's some kind of a droplet. What's that? Apply title now. Yes. Oh, okay. How about let's open up our bag for beginner support boxes. What is this? Unidentified. So let's identify it. You do not have the required fee to identify items. We don't have money. Where's the money? This. I think this is the money. And we need 1,680. Okay. So how about let's move to the accessories. Nothing in the accessories. In the usable, we got potions. And what is this? More potions. Okay. Materials, quests, special. What's this? 
Oh, I think this is an enhancement item. Okay. Is there anything else? Nope, nothing. We need money to be able to use that OP weapon. Okay, guys, before we do another instance dungeon, we're gonna check out the cash shop. Here it is, guys. The item mall. Let's open it. And here it is. We're not gonna check out these main things over here because we don't know where they belong. And before we start, of course, prices. The cash up currency is called K Cheng. Look at this. Here it is. K Cheng. I don't know if that's the pronunciation. Now, 1000 K Cheng is 10 USD. About 10 USD, give or take. Okay, so now let's go to the costume tab. Look at this, guys. The costumes in this game add stats. Look at this. Shoes. Physical attack plus 15, magical attack plus 15, physical defense, magical defense plus 15. That's just the shoes. And there's also a set effect. If you complete the high school life set, you get more stats. Look at this. Let's preview this top costume. Look at that. Then we put the pants. Okay, so how about the hair? Oh my god, even the hair, guys. The hair got stats. Look at this. Here's the preview of the high school life costume. Looks cool. They add stats. So yeah, this answers your question. Is L sword wink wink? So let's move on to the accessories. And okay, it's pretty much the same as the costumes. They also add stats. There's also set effects. Wow. Look at this bravery skill damage plus 20. So yeah. So how about in the usable tab? Okay, so how about let's just check out the hot items, not these things. Because most of the first items are just packages. So this ice burner agent noose over here. Okay, man, the description is not good. Give me a minute. Six and a half hours later. Oh, okay, okay, guys. I talked to somebody outside. There's somebody playing those ice burner. He told me it's a gacha, which makes sense. It's the number one item over here on the hot items. People buy this a lot because it's a gacha for costumes. So, yeah, so these are all gachas over here. And this El Rios Pass Season 1 is the Battle Pass, guys. And what is this? Let's highlight it. Here it is, guys. The price of the battle pass is about 40 USD. Am I wrong? Is my math wrong? Look at this, guys. The price is about 4K K Cheng and 1000 K Cheng is 10 USD. So that's 40 USD, right? Wow, that's kind of expensive, right? So how about what's this item over here? Okay, so this is the item that levels up your battle pass. And how much is it? 340k chain to level up your battle pass. Oh, why is it so expensive? Well, anyway, next item is this. I think it's a housing, guys. Look at this. It looks cool. You can hang out with your friends over here. How much is it? 100k chain. Okay, so it's cheap. That's doable. Okay, so we can buy some house and more gachas over here. Now, this cube is not a gacha. It contains blessed fluorite ore. And based on my understanding, this blessed fluorite ore is kind of like the item that protects your equipment from down leveling if you fail an enhancement. So that's that. Okay, so let's move on. Now this blessed restoration scroll cube is kind of like the fluorite item, but this restores your broken gear. So yeah, what else can we look for in here? Most of the items over here, man, the description is not good. Okay, so this one is the package. Contains five blessed restoration scroll. This one is just a single item. There goes the description, guys. A magical scroll that can restore a broken item due to unsuccessful enhancement, okay? And there's also keys for dungeons in the cash shop. Character nickname change card. So yeah, let's move on to the customize. And I checked out a lot of these items. It's all the same, guys. Mostly all the same. And it's an item that adds stats on your gears. Look at the description, guys. You can choose an option. So, yeah. It's another one of those items that answers your question. Is L sword? Wink, wink. Now, let's move on to the special tab. It's mostly inventory expansion, character slots. You guys get the point, right? You, we can buy bags and additional character slots in the cash shop. We're not gonna check out the packages. And what is this summons? Okay, guys, pets. Look at this. The ancient Poru. Here it is, guys. We can buy this pet. And the description is not showing any stats. So I'm assuming it's just a pet. Oh, yeah. And look at this, guys. We can buy pet food. What else? Oh, my God. What's this item? Look at this, guys. This item over here, the Fetch Aura. All item and ED will be picked up automatically if your pet has this aura. So auto-loot 
our pet will have auto loot if you have this aura. That's the cash up, guys. We're not gonna check out the ED shop because that's the currency of the game. Let's go back and play the game. Okay, let's go. What's on top of our head? It says Anne's gift. What? Okay, new attendance. What's this? Receive all. Man, I can't press the receive, so I'm assuming we still cannot get it. So how about returning attendance? Nope. Okay, I can get this. Let's go back to the... Th okay. <laughs> I didn't see my bad. I thought this is the thing we could receive. Turns out this one. Okay, day one. Receive. Let's open up our bag. What's that? Equipment support cube. Open it. This item cannot be used by my character. What? Okay, anyway. How about this? Okay, EXP boost cube. Use it. Okay. Now use it again, bruh. Is that enabled already because I opened it? Okay, anyway. Let's go do a dungeon. And let's go to the white mess swamp. Queue for the dungeon. And starting dungeon. There we go. Let's go. Start off. Where's the enemies? Let's go. Super attack. Our attack is a gravity ball. Let's go, bro. Come down here. Let's go. I'm gonna beat up your friend. Oh, you're gonna smack me, huh? Okay, let's go. Skill. Oh, oh, dodge. Man, you're still alive. You're tough, huh? So how about see attack? Oh, I'm getting beat up. Man, I'm getting caught off guard by the double jump. Because when I double jump, it does this. I'm levitating. <laughs> Throws me off. Okay, anyway. There's another guy over here. Let's go. Still alive. Mr. Bruce. Use a skill. Finish him off. Uh-oh. Let's go, bro. Dodge. Oh, what? What the? Finish you off. Okay, we got it. Clear this area. Danger. It's the Monkey King. Gonna fight him. Let's go. There's a box over here. Let's take it. What's that? It's money. We need to take that. Because we need to open the box. Let's go. Prism skill. Enemies are getting tougher. Nice. You monkey, come here. Prism attack. Dodge. You're gonna attack me. I know that. Let's go. Finish him off. Don't let him attack. You're gonna die. Nope. Dodge. 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 He's charging up. Let's go, bro. Let's go, bro. See, finish him. Oh, he got me. Man. <laughs> that levitating thing. Okay, we win. What happened there? I didn't attack. He just died. Check the complete quest with L button. What? Okay, complete now. Man, I'm trying to press it. What's happening here? Okay, anyway, I think I need to proceed. Oh, yeah. Man, why is it telling me to open the quest? There goes the dude. He has a crystal. Give me the crystal. Hey, what? Wait a minute. That's the ancient Poru, the pet. We're gonna have to fight the pet. Let's go. Oh, use our special attack. Let's go. Okay, so let's use the control. And then press him attack. Then see. Let's go. I need more mana. Jump. Jump away. Let's go. Uh oh. Man, that levitating thing when I'm double jumping really throws me off. Because I expect my character to jump much more higher. <laughs> see. Oh, what's that? We have a new skill. See. Oh, it's different. I can recast it. Oh, what's his play? He's using some kind of a yoga flame. Ah, oh, that's C. I didn't know. My bad. Oh, I can teleport using C. Okay. Got it. I'm just learning. Don't pressure me. Ah, oh, I got hit. He yoga flamed me. A skill. And we won. I can't stand being what? I was still trying to read that. Luke? That's L sword from the start. 
man. Looking at the game today, it still looks like a recent game. Now, the story experience, the character selection was nice. There's a lot of characters to choose from, and it's always nice having more options. I do wish though that there's some kind of a uh, testing place. But anyway, I guess that's too late for that now. It's been a while. Now, the questing is good enough. It didn't linger too much on the tutorial part and just let me have fun and play the game. But it's mainly fighting hordes of monsters and fighting bosses at the end. Now, the combat is side-scrolling action. I like it. And if you like beat em up games, this will be right up your alley. Now, the graphics is anime style and this kind stands the test of time. As for the performance, I did do experience stutters on the hub area but it's not game breaking. All in all, L Sword is still playable. I saw a bunch of players at the hub, so it's still kind of active. And if you want to check the game out, the details are on the screen. And if you like the video, hit the thumbs up, share, and then subscribe to be part of the Gaming Hardcore family. And as always, this is Gaming Hardcore. See you in the next one.